Lion ass bitch. What the fuck is happening? Foul beast, plague of my family. What is this? What is happening? Oh, it's VR. <laughs> These Aww. obsidian platinum lenses are amazing. I don't like it without my sidearm. I can't believe Lex made you give up your gun when you left the DEO. She's literally next to Supergirl and Dreamer. <laughs> Hi! Hey. Oh my gosh! Aww. Look at this place. It's amazing. It's all Andrea. She has never said oh. words like that. Oh. Oh, you are paying attention to my late night rambling. <laughs> She's gonna be like, I have no idea what that means. Gotta go. But don't we all know our friends' orders by heart? This was very thoughtful of you. Thank you. <laughs> it was nice. <sighs> See you guys later. Bye. Bye. Wow. Rejection never looked so good or was so cool about it. Right. Why am I so bad at this? And she wasn't nice about it either. She it wasn't like she let him down easy. She was kind of rude. Oh. Are you okay? What the f is that? Now. Thank you for saving me. With Andrea Rojas now dead, consider this your final warning. Cancel the Obsidian Platinum launch or more will die. Maybe you should take that threat seriously though. Oh, she's making them exist with each other. I wasn't aware a Maladorian dendro ass could show inner strength. Let me guess. The biggest critic is a Kryptonian? Before Crisis, when I tried using Myriad, she assumed that I was trying to mind control people. Can you imagine what it would be like if humanity didn't succumb to terror, rage, and worry? We would be the best versions of ourselves. Be creative, be free, be... Utopia. You can't force people to do that, though. I don't want to puppet master humanity. So you're saying we need to find their version of kryptonite? In so many words, yes. Then no. I've been down that road, and let's just say I didn't win. <laughs> there is one intriguing possibility. Did Brainy get a haircut? His hair looks shorter. But that would require access to Leviathan's base of operations. What better way to get in with Leviathan than to protect their favorite child? Call Supergirl. I am Shit. not a bodyguard. <laughs> Finding them before the launch tonight seems unlikely. And I mean, news, you know they're the not wrong, can. though. Not to mention, you'll have the blood of a poor, innocent billionaire on your hands. What the fuck? Lex just personally assigned me to bodyguard Andrea Rojas until Platinum's launch tonight. Bodyguard? Well, why does Lex care so much about the launch? Exactly. He must have an ulterior... I mean, it's not necessarily just, like, being a bodyguard. She had her life threatened. I shouldn't be able to siphon off electrical energy. Still, it's a lead. We'll get on it. Well, if you need me, I'll be glued to Andrea's side. <laughs> what could you possibly give us that we can't give ourselves? Supergirl. For Andrea Rojas's protection. I don't need your Supergirl, nor do I want her. Oh, I Clearly you do. <laughs> you know what I could do to a yappy little dog that nips at my heel. That's why I adore you. I can give you something you value. Shax as though he's, does, he's not capable of stuff, too. The entire world will be watching and recording Andrea Rojas's every move until the launch at 9 p.m. Look at her. Nothing. Not, I'm sorry, Toby. <laughs> Can use it on them too. After your trials, I, I won't have to worry. I, I've heard Aww. you're trying to turn them peaceful as Quakers. With you by my side, people will be even more amped for the launch. Selfie? Uh, <laughs> hashtag. Selfie with the bodyguard. Hard. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, yes. It's, it's very nice to meet you, uh, formally. What are you doing here? God, it's so cringy every time people meet her and don't know that it's her. Can't. You're following Andrea around all day? Look, we're not here to arrest you, okay? I don't work for the government anymore. We need your help. Look, we're looking for a chlorophyllian. Somebody with tech issues or possibly an anger management problem. <laughs> it kind of looked like a girl. Lex finds out Brainy is using DEO resources for you. It could put him in Lex's crosshairs. He's family. He'll let us know if he can't. Brainy, hey, we got a lead. That's excellent news. Why does got to answer on speakerphone. Unfortunately, I see no record of any chlorophyllines living in that vicinity. In fact, the only farm off route you, Brainy. He's no lying. Okay, thanks, Brainy. 
Lion ass bitch. For that to happen, Supergirl must save Andrea Rojas. Therefore, Alex Danvers and John Jones need to be left in the dark. Oh. I've done the calculations. There's a 93.2% probability that none will invite me to Thanksgiving. God, it's what you deserve, little snake. Only then will the future unfold the way we need it to. Trust that your friends are strong. I mean, they are heroes after all. That is quantified. Okay, but he's still fing lying to them. Let's see if this works. Shit. Gentlemen, stand and remove your lenses. Oh shit, it worked. Uh sure, Toby. That would be lovely. I mean in theory I feel like this is a good idea, but also like I feel like people could use this to their advantage also. Because people need to dislike some people, you know? Because it'd be dangerous if you were if you liked someone who's like dangerous, you know? Say it, but I think the manifesto makes some slightly decent points. I mean, not that obsidian lenses will take our sentient minds hostage, but that people disconnecting from the real world could uh, backfire. That's the thing is like, eventually, if you can get nutrition from food in a VR world, who says people are even ever gonna even come out of it? It wasn't until I hung out with my friend or coworker, Kara, that I remembered what being really connected. Aww. Like... Imagine he knows and he's just saying that shit to her because he knows she's gonna be listening. Oh. Andrea Rojas! This company is his life's work. Me papa built it from the ground up. I pushed away friends for my own gain. I... But I would do it all again in a heartbeat. I will not stop just because someone's threatening me. Mm -hmm. I'm not okay! Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. So it literally stops you from doing something violent? You're not gonna, even the people that was affected, like him, isn't gonna forget what actually happened and why they feel that way. I wanted to be the bully. Oh shit. Fear is the only emotion I've known for most of my life. But then you came along and I finally felt hope. It's trying to claw its way out. I can't get rid of She's it. She's gonna have to make some way to it's so much worse stop the people from feeling. I'm sorry, I'm yeah. so sorry. Fix those Reven monsters. Vengeful. You know, They're gonna know Brady lied. Through. Yeah, but I really miss kicking doors in. <laughs> These schematics. Looks like he has a pretty toy all of his own. These are weapons grade components. This is what he must have been trying to buy on the black market. Just... You be here. What the? The CGI on that looked really good. He's willing to burn down his whole fucking place. This is why Alex needs a gun. Stay. You can't me here. <laughs> Stay. You deluded yourself into thinking you were saving us when you were really killing us, and maybe I am just as deluded as you are. I haven't been deluded a day in my life. Even if she is trying to do the right thing, I'm glad that she acknowledges that there's a possibility that she could think it's the right thing and it's not. I let my obsession with destroying him drive me off course, but now I have a second chance to do things the right way with you. Aww. I'm not sure he was supposed to liberate people. I'll take away their free will. Maybe I have gone down a dark path. See, the difference is, though, is she acknowledged that all by herself before he even said anything about it. And I'm not leaving until we do. I still don't think they should continue it, though, unless there's some way to fix both sides of it. The person that's like a bully and then the person that receives it. I turned in my gun and my badge so that I could stop Lex from the outside. How the f are you supposed to do that I with nothing? I thought the was holding me back. But what if it was holding me up? And sometimes it takes a while to grow into the new version of yourself. And can't they make her a whole it's new a process, like Alex. outfit and weapons and shit to use? Maybe it won't be legal, but... According to Obsidian HR, he became addicted to the virtual reality lenses and was terminated because he stole a pair for an all-night binge. Oh. Could the attack on Andrea be retaliation for getting fired? Ever since we left our homeworld, I have felt lost. 
relief I found is in VR. Oh, that's why he was obsessed with it. So if he's dead, then he couldn't have attacked Andrea. Then was was it his wife? She blames Obsidian for his death. I knew it seemed like a girl. called that shit. I knew it was a girl. Leave these people alone. I'm stopping the Oh my god, stop trying to be a hero. I'm sorry. I they need to get those gauntlets off of her. Hell yeah. It's time to put your toys oh, I miss bed. Dreamer. Supergirl promised Mr. Luther that you would stay out of danger. Put her in a holding cell. Oh, so oh. oh, we gonna lock you up. She saved the day. Hi. Oh, that was cute. Oh shit. I know how much you loved each other. And I know just stall this bitch for a little bit. Spiral. He went down after he got addicted to Obsidian's VR. I hear you. Yeah. It's built to trap you. An addiction. That's what it did to Todd. I know. But if you go through with what you're doing, it won't just shut down the launch. It's gonna kill people. Innocent people will die. She is good at talking people off the ledge, that's for sure. Shit. Stop. I miss him every day. People do crazy things when they lose someone they love. After the attack tonight, you know what happened? Our employees use our VR to cope with the trauma they just experienced. Bottom line, Supergirl, I'm here to help people. There's good and bad in everything. And I feel like at the end of the day, everything needs to be handled in a healthy way. Because the same could be said about like regular cell phones. You know, that some people are using phones too much and then their reality gets warped or is on too, online too much and their reality gets warped. Obviously VR is like a little bit more serious, but everything is healthy in moderation. Oh, what's the gun? My gun. Not quite. Oh, shit. It can transform into any weapon. You just have to picture it. <laughs> Today you proved you didn't need one. John, this is amazing. I I don't know what to say. <laughs> Those feelings, it's as if I never had them. I had accounted for the violent tendencies, but not the feelings of injustice, which activate a different part of the brain. So Yeah, see I feel like I feel like this product could happen. work with people in rehabilitate re rehabilitation centers like prisons or anything that need to be brought back into society at some point but i think like people that are like serial killers and shit like that should not be helped you really are the and you murderers are. but like if this works the world in this situation i feel like that would be a great way to help transition criminals that are like petty crimes or things like that back into the world i couldn't find you after the attack are you okay that is none of your business <laughs> i really need to text him back i mean it sounds like he's so really likes you. I kind of just like feel like the William Carr thing kind of came out of nowhere and then they had this one like karaoke episode and then all of a sudden we were supposed to be like sold on them. I don't know. I just kind of I'm not sold on it yet. Cara. Oh, thank God. <laughs> He's in his I office. So much <laughs> See for myself. I'm sorry you asked to be friends and I should be respecting that but instead I've been overstepping. All no, 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 not at all. It's it's fine. So that's actually why I'm here and I would love to go out. I would love that. I just hope they let it like naturally happen and it's not just like going one day and then they're together, you know? I texted you for assistance and I got no reply. That failsafe endangered 67% of National City's population. Though a few houses could have burned down. Small price for progress. People could have died. Yeah, you dick. He just put his money on the fact that she would fix it. Who better to represent Obsidian Platinum and its worldwide rollout than Lex? Luthor. I'm the chocolate to your peanut butter. You make a persuasive case, Lex. Mm. As I told you, I can be an excellent friend when I want to be, and I want to be very good friends. It would be lovely to meet your friends. 
Oh, shit. Make good on your word. And we can discuss. Does he want to destroy them or join them? I can't tell. All right, there we go. That's season five, episode 14 of Supergirl. This was a really good episode. I really liked that when Lena kind of failed at what she was doing, she kind of saw Kara's side to it and why Kara thinks, like, this is not the right path to go down because you are trying to, like, kind of control people in saying, like, this is how you need to react to this situation. But she didn't account for, like, the other side of it. So, like, say it's an evil person or, like, like the analogy they used, like, a bully to a victim. The victim still has that hate for the bully, but now that they're not scared anymore, that's coming forward. And then the bully's fine, but the other person's not. And then it just kind of makes it backfire. And I'm glad that she was, she found a way to fix that. I just think that they need to find a way to, I don't know, like a common ground. I don't think that everybody needs to have that. I think that criminals that need to be transitioned back into the world could be beneficial with that to keep the world safe or just like stuff like that type of thing like that type of thing like i think it would be helpful for i think giving that to everyone is just like not gonna work i don't know it just doesn't seem ideal the, the media immediately what i think of is like say two people in a relationship break up and it's a really messy breakup they fight all the time whatever and then they have this and then suddenly they, they don't hate each other anymore and it's kind of like, that's a situation where you should dislike someone. That's just part of life, you know? And she's trying to, like, puppeteer that. And that's not good. I, I can't even tell what Lex is thinking anymore because sometimes he seems like he's on the right track. And then there's times like this where he set that whole thing up so that he could prove to them that he's reliable. And now he wants to meet her friends. I don't know if that's to take them down or if it's because he wants to join them. I don't know. It's going to be interesting to see where that goes. I, I'm still not sure how I feel about William and Kara. I think he's a good guy, but I just, like, I don't understand why they went from, like, them hating each other to them going on this, the, like, not this date, but them hanging out together doing karaoke, and then suddenly, like, there's all these feelings there. I, I feel like Supergirl is terrible at just, like, slow burning some couples together, and I feel like that's why people don't really like them together. And, like, they had a cute scene, but... I just, I don't know. I don't, I'm not really feeling it with them too. I'm glad that Bra Brainy finally sees like that Lex was willing to put so many people in danger and the fact that Supergirl would have saved the day regardless is besides the point. It, there was still a chance that you could have like killed 65% or whatever of National City and that's terrible and I just can't wait till Brainy just leaves that behind because I don't like Brainy following in Lex's footsteps. I really don't. Um, but yeah, this is a really good episode. I'm about to watch the next one right now. I think that's pretty much it. I will see you then. Thanks for watching.